Windows 11 Core Isolation. This is another Windows security feature that helps you to protect you from all kind of malicious software. But many people have the question that should they enable this option or disable it. So that's what I will be talking in this video. But before that, if you want to bring up your core isolation, the memory integrity, you can just click on your search box, type core, then you will be getting core isolation, click on it, and this will bring up your core isolation. Now, if we talk about it, it's a security feature available on your device that use virtualization based security. Prevent attack from inserting malicious code into high security process. All right. Now, let me explain you this with an easy diagram so that you can quickly understand that whether you should enable it or disable it. Now, for example, this is your PC and then you install different applications that download it from Internet. So these are the application. I'm just taking this for example. Now, what happened without this core isolation security or any other security, whenever you try to download any application on your computer from the website, they automatically come into your computer. All right. But now if you enable the core isolation feature, then there will be a layer of security like this in between your PC and the application that you install. So once you have enabled this core isolation, the next time when you will try to install any kind of application, these application will first come to core isolation. The core isolation will further decide that these applications are malicious free, safe or not. And once the core isolation feel that these applications are safe and good to install, then it will further send to your computer and then you can install it. All right. So you can see this is a kind of a protection that comes in between your PC and the application, the website that you open on the Internet. So this is a very recommended security if you are concerned about your protection, concerned about the computer, concerned about the security. Then you should go ahead and enable this memory integrity option on your computer. Now let's talk about the people who should not enable their security. If you are using the PC for the gaming purpose, or something related to it where you just need some kind of good ping, good high FPS and no latency, then in that case, you will have to disable this option. Now, core isolation basically use the virtualization based security and it uses the high resources and that will be surely decreasing your FPS and even it will be affecting your latency. So if you are doing gaming and you are considered more about the ping, about the FPS, about the latency, about the resources, then you should go ahead and disable this security. So now it's all up to you. You have to decide that what exactly you need. If you are not in the gaming, then you should go ahead and enable the security. I always keep this option enable because I'm more concerned about my security, about the protection. All right, so that's all guys. Hopefully this short and the very useful information will surely help you to decide whether you should enable or disable the memory integrity on your Windows 11 or not. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.